So, I know, I haven't made a video in, like, forever, and I'm so sorry, but you know that around this time, my life gets hectic, and I kind of, like, hold myself away, and don't see anyone, and don't talk to anyone, and now it's, like, too full, because I got a job now. Um, I just wanted to say that I absolutely loved your video, like, it took forever to get it out, and I was so, like, anticipating it, but it was totally worth the wait, and it was heartbreaking for me when I came back from Gregory, because the minute I got into town, I realized you and Aiden were gone. Like, it hadn't completely hit me until that point. Like, I expected to go home and see you guys passed out on my bed. And you're not there. And he's not there. And you guys left me. But I've been keeping tabs on you guys. Been, like, creeping on my timeline. And I know there's a little drama going on and a little bit of shit. But I'm really proud of you guys. And I love you both. And... Smile for me, please. <laughs> um, so, I guess, first things first. School's been going pretty well. Um, I had to drop my chemistry survey lecture and my lab because my lecture was a Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday class. <laughs> and it was taking me up to Spearfish every day then. And I don't have annuity anymore and I'm not getting many hours yet where I work so I couldn't afford to go up so then I had to drop that and because I had to drop that I had to drop my chemistry survey lab class but I'll just pick them up down here I'll make sure that I actually sign up on time and pick them up down here at the University Center because I can actually do that like they offer it here so why shouldn't I um I'm taking a Wes Anderson class. Wes Anderson is the movie director. Like, he made Fantastic Mr. Fox, and he's also made, you know, like, Rushmore, and The Royal Tenenbaums, and Bottle Rocket, and a whole bunch of other movies, and, like, Dr. King is obsessed with him. And he's, he's pretty good, I'm so he's alright, like, so that class is enjoyable. Like, it's long, but it's pretty cool. We get to watch movies and then talk about them, so that's not bad. My psychology lab class turned into an online class, but I was kind of frustrated because, like, this assignment required us, because, like, we have from a certain, like, in the morning Monday to in the morning Wednesday to do these assignments, and she's all like, you know, you don't have to show up to class anymore, and you don't have to get up early anymore, and I'm like, awesome. And then I find out that one of my assignments requires me to group with three to five people within the class and do, like, an observation, and I'm like, shit. This is Wednesday, no, this is Tuesday, and, like, this is Tuesday evening, <laughs> and I didn't know there'd be, like, group activities, and I don't know how to get a hold of anyone in my class, and so I'll probably have to show up Monday morning if there's an assignment and hope to God someone's there. But, I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, and then I have my online technical communications class, and then I have my my forensic science class. And, like, I love that class so much. Like, Dr. Eris is amazing, and he's really, like, personable and fun, but he's also, like, he has expectations of you. And I'm frustrated because I can't ace a freaking proposition paper, and, like, I'm doing... I'm trying to figure it out better, like, he says my writing is really good. So, I know that's not a problem, it's just the format I'm kind of having a problem with, and I want to start acing my proposition papers! But the class is also frustrating because I go in and I'm like, yay legal system, like, we try to be, you know, truth seekers. No, he's pointed out to me several times that the legal system in America is all about being fair and not being truthful. And it's so frustrating to see like, these biases and these, these, um, contradictions, you know, and, and case studies that are like, you know, sentence a person to five years in jail, you know, that they got out after five years because their case was overturned, the verdict was overturned, but all because, you know, some kid came home and was like, yeah, my teacher 
like chopped off a baby's head and drank its blood and so now we're all like sexual abuse and even though even though these kids are like no we like this person nothing ever happened like these preschoolers they're all like you're just denying it but you can be honest with me what really happened i mean like this is our legal system like seriously it is messed up and i just want to punch everything in the face right now like it is making me so angry <laughs> like that's that's america for you like right um, and then this <laughs> work has been cool, like, I'm a cashier, and so far I'm not getting many hours because they've hired so many new people, but I've been told that I should start picking up hours more, and I'm, like, I'm excited, but I'm so nervous because I have that, that anal retentive, like, I have to be perfect at something attitude, and I'm not perfect at my job, and I just want to be, but everyone there has been, like, so kind and considerate, and I miss the cafe so much, but... You know, I like where I work. I am. I, I'm happy there. And I work in like two and a half hours. So I have to walk my ass from beanies to where I work. Because like, I mean, like, get this. Okay, so Tuesday, I'm on the road and my tire goes flat. And I'm like, crap. So I air it up. Yesterday, I'm on the road. My other tire goes flat. I'm like a block from my house. I can't get to the gas station to air up my tire. So I have to like roll my car's ass back to freaking sit in my lawn until tomorrow when we can go and get the tires fixed. My mom's tires have been, you know, going low. She's gotten them from the same place that I got mine from. And so these tires are crap and we're pissed off. <laughs> like, I just, my first car was the oil, my second car is the freaking tires. And I'm like, I cannot catch a break. Like, seriously. Um, and now, oh, yeah. So, okay, she had to drop me off here so that I can walk to, sh to my job and work. But, um, I came over with my coat on because it's getting kind of chilly and I put my phone in my pocket and my cigarettes in my pocket and I take out my phone when I get here. My phone is completely smushed. And, like, I can't see it. Like, I plugged it in. I cannot see it. And I don't know when I'm going to be able to get a new phone. Because right now, I have, I'm have i making enough money, essentially, to buy cigarettes and have gas to go to Spearfish. So I'm like, I don't even know when I'm going to get a new phone. Which sucks. But the good thing is... Is that I'll be hanging out with Michael this weekend, hopefully. Um, it depends on if I work Sunday or not. <clears throat> He's got a job at Safe Haven, which is like this pet resort area. And um, we're going to go watch a movie. Because we actually haven't really hung out since I've been back. Because I've been so like, ah, school and work, school and work, school and work. So it'll be nice to spend some quality bro time with him. Like, I miss my brother. Um, and that's pretty much it. I am so sorry. This is going to be unedited and you're just going to have to deal with it because I don't feel like editing it. I love you. And I love you, Aiden. And I miss you guys. And I hope everything is going well. Mwah.